Hello and welcome to my channel, hope you're having a pleasant day and today I'm unboxing the Fear Free Collector's Edition Don't remember how much about this game or because at the time I was a bit ill I think my grandparents got me a selection of games and I think this is one of them uh, Along with Fracture and Mass Effect if I remember correctly uh, Don't remember how much, I remember is you just sort of shot things and there was slow motion or something And it was sort of a weird ending But uh, anyway, I uh, got this a few years ago, I think I got this from eBay for about £12 brand new uh, compared to now which is going for about £30 on kicks and I think other places like eBay it's like £50 so I'm no, pretty happy with that investment I guess so um, I think we'll get straight on the unboxing so I'll take you around the box so uh, first thing you do notice which I think a lot of people will notice if you did click on this video is you've got a sort of figurine of um, Alma uh, this is a sort of a bit messed up I guess uh, with the sort of pregnancy there um, that's the main character you play as, who's called Point Man, if I remember. Uh, got Fear Free, they sort of replaced the E with a free. It looks kind of cool, I guess. You've got Collector's Edition. Sort of a matte finish, you know, it's no embossing or anything special. Um, the statue is uh, exclusive glow in the dark, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, that's the side. That's your brother with a sort of uh, bit of a headache there and um that's the other side so that's what tells you if you can get in the box so you got a steel book uh, um sort of dlc for another gun comic book and the figurine and that's the back it sort of tells you everything about the game so um yeah you can read that if you want um that's the top and that's the bottom so we'll open it up and we'll have a look at all the stuff inside so the statue's not, you know, tied or anything. It's sort of just sort of thrown in there, which is uh, a bit interesting, I guess. Uh, done something different. So we'll try and take the figurine out. And we'll put that to one side because um, we'll show it off in a bit. So here's the still book. We'll open it up and um, inside is the comic, which is tiny, really, really small. I mean, I don't know why I didn't uh, add that in with the still book. You know, there's enough room there, but um, no. Uh, what do you do? So we we'll have a quick look through. Um, so there's a helicopter there. The cool visuals, some action, and some more action. So yeah, um, a little bit small, I guess. Uh, there's an advertisement for Mortal Kombat. It's quite a fun game. Put that to one side. Here's where the manual started to get smaller. I think this one just come out 2012. I think is it something like that? Uh, yeah, as I said, man manual started to get smaller, more compact. I guess to sort of save money. Do you miss them, but um, no, can't dwell on that. Um, here's some DLC, so exclusive uh, weapon. Feel free to use that. I mean, probably best not to because it's probably expired. We'll put that to one side. And what's this? This is a DLC for something. Does it say? No take too much time to read that um so have a look at the disc so yep there's your game and that's your inside artwork which is um very minimal to to be honest um i could have put a lot of effort into that but um i guess i wanted to get it out as soon as possible and here's the front and the back so there's a little bit of debossing on the free there which looks kind of cool and that's uh that's sort of about it it's a, it's a you know very highly glossy still book it's quite nice. I think for all it is. And we'll put that to one side. So the last thing to look at is the figurine, which is going in the dark. So what I've done if I was that I've actually moved my setup closer. Um my setup it's just a carpet and the camera. And um, I thought I'd shut the curtains to see if this actually is glowing in the dark. But I think first we'll just have a quick look at the figurine before we do that. So there's a I guess there's a nice bit of um Detailing on the uh, Alma, Alma's face there. Uh, that's very ring-like. Uh, there's a bit of pregnancy going on. It's a little bit sort of creepy. Uh, yep. Yeah. It's a bit of a cake going on. And that's the stance. There's a nice DNA, uh, detail, I guess. I think this looks more like a you know, cookie or something. But um, that's the bottom. And yeah, so nice and simple, I guess. Um, you know, not huge amount of detailing on there, I don't think, but it's nice for all it is, I think. And we will uh, do the moment of truth. So, shut my curtains and we'll have a quick look. Which, oh God, bloody hell. 
give me two secs. And we will have a look. So does that actually go in the dark? Not really. <laughs> I don't know if the um it's gone off or something. Does that work for the greens? I don't know. But um I guess that's cool for what it is. I mean it looks creepier like that, I guess. And um yeah, so uh that's everything. So let's open the curtains back up. There's not much to look at, but um yeah, anyway, um, as I said, you can get this from Kex, you know, it's out of print, you know, unfortunately, you know, like a lot of this stuff is, but um, you can get a copy if you want. And that's, um, yeah, well, that's it, you know, it's sort of a short video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.